you guys. Today we're going to learn about addition word problems. So we have worked on addition a lot and we know that when we add, it means we put things together. We start with a smaller number and when we put two numbers together, we end up with a bigger number. So we're going to practice today finding the addition problem within a word problem. So what a word problem is, is a story that has to tell you about different numbers and it just is almost in a paragraph form. And so what you see on your worksheet for today, we're going to do the first one, and then I'm going to give you some examples that are not on the worksheet. So that way you can see how to do it, but then you can do the rest on your own. So this here is called a number line. And I'm pretty sure we've talked about a number line before in the classroom. But now we're going to talk about using the number line to help us add as well as helping us to solve the word problem. So the strategies that I teach you here, you can use also when you're, when you're just adding normally without using a word problem. So here, I'm also going to teach you the keywords that you will look for in a word problem to know that you're adding. All of these are going to be adding. So it'll be easy for us to find the words that would be um, the hint that we're adding and not subtracting. We may not get to subtraction word problems this year um, because we are not in school right now, but um, we will definitely focus on that in first grade. And it's just an idea for you to see what the addition keywords are. So let's get started. I have written just what you see on your worksheet on this dry erase board only because I don't want to write on it. And I, like I said, I'm giving you a bunch of problems that are not on your worksheet. And I don't want to have to keep redrawing my number lines, so I'm going to erase it when I'm finished. So it says, Kate collected five bugs in a jar. Fred collected seven bugs. How many bugs did they collect in all? So the very first step we have to do is we have to find the numbers that are in the word problem. So the two numbers that I see are five and seven. So I'm gonna write them in my the numbers that I'm adding together. So I'm gonna write five and seven. And then I have to look for the keyword that tells me that I'm adding. So I'm gonna look at the question and see what word helps me. How many bugs did they collect in all? So in all, is our keyword that we are adding or keywords because that's more than one. So now I have to figure out how can I use this number line to help me solve what five plus seven is. I'm gonna start on my number line at five and a number line goes on forever and that's why it doesn't end with just a dot, it ends with an arrow because arrow tells you to keep going in either direction. And when we go backwards from zero, we go into negative numbers. And our number line is just going to end at, it doesn't end, but we're just going to see the number stop at 20. But it could go on, and that's why there's an arrow there. So we're going to start at five. And you, like I said, you're going to use the number line on your paper, and you're going to put the dots on the actual line. But because I'm using a board, and I'm going to keep reusing it, I'm going to do it above the numbers. So I'm going to put a dot at the number five and that tells me my first number. And then the second number is how many times I'm going to jump or skip on the number line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when I jump seven, I land on the number 12. And if we want to do a different strategy to make sure that we have that number correct, we could draw five circles, two, three, four, five, and draw seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I could count them together and see that I have 12. I could use um, manipulatives, and I could, again, put five and seven, and I would still get 12. So those are three strategies that I could use to solve a word problem as well as any just plain old addition um, number sentence. So again, I'm going to erase this very quickly. 
And I'm gonna, we're gonna move on to another word problem that is not on your worksheet. So if you're watching this video while you're working, what I want you to do is to have copied this, five plus seven equals 12, onto your worksheet. And I want you to put the dot on five and skip seven spaces. Once you've done that, I want you to put your worksheet down and you can turn it over if you want to do these on the back. But these problems I'm giving you are not, these word problems are not number two, three, and four. So I don't want anyone to be confused in thinking that that's the answers. So I'm going to give you two more word problems that you're going to do, or that I'm going to show you how to do. And, and then you're going to do numbers two, three, and four on your own. And as always, if you need help, you can come join me for office hours between 1 and 2.30, and I can assist you. Um, however, I do have a meeting set up with a parent today during my office hours. So if I am for some reason meeting with someone, um, whether it be another student or um, the parent, I might put you in the waiting room, so you might have to wait for just a few minutes. And if that happens, I have my phone to message you on Dojo and let you know that that's what's going on and that you might have to wait for a few minutes. All right, so our word pro our first word problem is Tom had nine tomatoes in his vegetable garden. Ed had eight carrots. How many vegetables did they have all together? Now, something I want you to pay attention to is the words that they use inside the wor word problem. Even though it says nine tomatoes for Tom and eight carrots for Ed, those are two different objects. However, it asks how many vegetables did they have all together? And they are both different kinds of vegetables, so it's, they both answer the question. Now I have to put in the first step is to put the numbers in. So it was nine tomatoes and eight carrots. And when we have those, we want to look for the, now that we have the numbers, we want to look for the key word that tells us we're adding. So I look at the question, how many vegetables did they have all together? The word all together is our key word that we are adding. So I've done step one, which is put the numbers in. Step two, found the key word. And now I have to solve it on the number line. So again, I start with number nine and I skip eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it stops at 17. So nine plus eight equals 17. And you can again, draw it. You could use manipulatives. You don't have to do the number line strategy. And one last problem. And I'm giving you one that e of each that saw that shows you different keywords. Because a lot of times they'll use the same keyword over and over and over. But I want to show you different examples that you can look for for keywords. So, so far we have all together and in all. There's also words in the, actually I'm going to do two more because um, I want to show you that when you're reading a word problem, not only can you find the keywords in the question, but sometimes sent other sentences within the word problem can give you another keyword as well as words in the question. So our next question is Molly, I mean, our next word problem is Molly ate six pieces of candy before lunchtime. Six is my first number. After lunch, she ate five more. So that word more is a key word because we know that when we have more, our number gets bigger. And when our number gets bigger, we are adding because we're putting things together. How many pieces of candy did she eat in all, so that's the same keyword that we had as the, at the very first problem, in all. So 
start at six and move five. One, two, three, four, five. And I stop at 11. So six plus five equals 11. This last one is going to give us our final keyword. And I'm going to not erase the part for the number line. I'm just going to do this one underneath. So we're looking down here, even though you'll usually do it up top. All right, the last question says, Miss Friedman graded 10 assignments. Miss Reyes graded eight assignments. So 10 and eight are our two numbers. How many total assignments were graded? So the word total is a keyword here that we're going to add. So we have in all, all together, more, and total. So four words that help us to know that we're adding. So 10 plus eight, start at 10 and move eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we end at 18. Now I want you to be careful when you're doing your skips because if you get too sloppy, even with mine, it looks, it's a little hard to see what numbers we're pointing to. So if you take your time, and you make sure that you're pointing to the correct number, you won't be confused and you won't make careless mistakes. And a careless mistake is when you're rushing and you're not caring about taking your time and getting it correct. Again, if you have any trouble with this, please join me or any other worksheet or anything that you are not understanding that we have gone over so far. Because we're not in the classroom to work together, I want to be able to help you one-on-one -on -one and the way I can do that is if you join me for office hours. So again, 1 o'clock to 2.30, and the link is going to be on Dojo. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys.